one by one, from LeBron James to Bill Gates to Oprah. 17 million Americans soaked up a good cause in the summer of 2014 and flooded social media. The Ice Bucket Challenge was more than a splash, raising $115 million. It was a life changer for people with ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. I uh, got the uh, diagnosis. My, my uh, family uh, got the uh, disease. For Clay Aarons, diagnosed a few months before that summer of wet, the challenge was literally moving. What's been the impact of all that cold ice water falling on people's heads. How's that change your life? The uh, backlog uh, um, request for uh, equipment uh, from the uh, chapter allowed me uh, to get a, a scooter that uh, gave me uh, freedom. For people with ALS, that freedom is fleeting as the neuromuscular disorder increasingly robs the body of its motor functions. The ice bucket challenge uh, helped fund that scooter for us and that has made a big difference in, in, in our lives. The scooter Clay got from his local ALS chapter meant his service dog, Finnegan, could eventually retire and become a regular and beloved family member. <laughs> the Ice Bucket Challenge helped the chapter in the Twin Cities, where Clay is a board member, clear its waiting list for much-needed specialty equipment, and it's still at zero. The number one thing this challenge did for the ALS community is bring hope. We went out and bought all of the pieces of equipment that people were waiting for, and delivered it to their door. Other chapters did the same. A genome center was funded in New York. Kids programs were expanded in Colorado. But a cure, of course, remains elusive. The Ice Bucket Challenge uh, really did help us advance our research. Uh, it, it more than tripled our own research budget here at the association. And it allowed us to involve new scientists from around the world in ALS. While they await a breakthrough, Clay and his family savor time. We have uh, always uh, tried to uh, live our life. Tomorrow isn't uh, guaranteed. From his own ice bucket challenge <laughs> to bucket list, living for today. Ron Mott, NBC News, St. Paul, Minnesota. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.